I'm Eliza. And I'm Dave. And we're with Ancestral Evolution. Today we thought that we would give you a break from all the corona craziness going around and introduce you to our flock. This is the bulk of our flock here and we started out with straight border lesters. Like these. Yeah, this is one of our mamas here. Her name is Babs. She's one of our best mamas. Yeah, she's very pregnant. Yeah, she should be having some lambs here in a little bit. Fingers crossed. Um, but yeah, so we we started out with three border lusters. This is Barbara. And the reason we pick border lusters to start with is they're a great tri-purpose breed. So, <laughs> so they can be used for um, for meat, for wool, and you can also milk them. We've never actually tried to milk them, although I might attempt to do so this year. I'm not really, not not so sure about that one, but they do have really nice wool and they also are delicious. So I think that they make a great animal if you're thinking about sheep on your homestead. And these other guys yeah, here, please. if you've watched any of our other lamb videos, um, these guys were a crop of lambs from last year. So we've got what, six, six babies? Yeah, the babies that were born in the video last year are these guys and look how much bigger they are now. Yeah, they're huge. Yeah. So they're not quite full grown. They don't get full grown really until like a year and a half, until they're about a year and a half old. And they're about, these guys are about a year old now. Yeah. Um, our mamas are, what, they're almost six? We got them six years ago. That's crazy to think about. But yeah, when last year we used a ram, if you're wondering why some of them are brown and some of them are white, we used actually a, uh, a, a, a black ram last year. We, we thought that our mamas had some uh, brown and, and black color genetics in their past, but evidently they did because we got some browns, which I was hoping for because as someone who spins and knits, this is great. Also, the ram that we used last year was half blue-faced luster and half border luster. So our babies are one quarter blue-faced luster and three quarters border luster. So they are going to have really nice fleeces. Yeah, that was the wait. idea, is getting the best fleeces. Yes. We don't care so much about the registry and the like pure bloodline thing because we're not breeding for that purpose. We're yeah. really just we breeding don't care for about that, really. good fleeces and meat. Yeah. It's, it's that's main reason the, all the practical things yeah but but yeah borderless just straight border lessers do have nice fleeces but they're a little bit coarser um, so I'm we're kind of trying to improve the fleeces somewhat um, so we'll see we'll see how they are another reason that we pick border lessers to start with is we have a bunch of people in our area who raise them um, so they were easy to find and also if you've noticed they have they don't have wool on their faces and they have clean legs too they don't have wool on their legs so as far as shearing when we started out we were very beginner when it came to shearing so a sheep that doesn't have wool on the face and legs is much easier if you when you're beginning shear um, yeah, and uh, if you see the sheep in the background up there, potentially, the re they are a different breed. And it's funny how the breeds really have a lot of temperament. The border lusters, obviously, they're like all of them are perfectly great to come over. Yeah. and They're super friendly. That's yeah, another reason friendly. that they're awesome. Yeah, I really versus like them. the uh, Shetlands, which those are Shetlands back there. Um, they, uh, they could walk over here if they want. They're actually not trapped in a gate. They just don't want to because they are super sketchy. We, all of them. We call them the sketchy boys. Yeah, because they're all they're all weathers. They're all fixed boys. Yeah, they're snipped. But they will not come over and even get within. One of them may, might get within 10 feet of you, and that's probably as close as you're going to get to it. Yeah. Like, yeah, which makes them very hard to catch. We have to use our uh, herding dog yeah. when we try to catch them because they... Thank goodness You we cannot have get a hold of these things without the dog. Yeah. So, yeah. And then we also have uh, a ram out in the field up here as well and we can't have him mixed in right now with everybody else because he would probably impregnate the young ones and they're too young yeah it's not it's not good to breed sheep 
there are some people who do it, but generally speaking, it's not good to breed sheep their first fall. You want to wait until they're at least a year and a half. Yeah, a year and a half minimum. It's kind of like a 16 year old having a baby. It's like, it's possible, but it's not ideal. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we, we're going to wait until next fall to breed these babies. Yeah, so our ram and one of the sketchy boys, as we call them, uh, are in a separate field up here where they can't get mingle with the rest of them. Yeah, so we'll so. we'll go uh, meet them here in a minute. Yeah, and what we did too uh, last fall was when we did breed with the moms here with the older ones is we just put the moms and the ram all in one field and then everybody else, all the little ones and the other sketchy boys and banjo in a separate field. Yeah. Banjo just watches, he's a woman, he just watches over everybody. Yeah. But he likes to be with the little ones. He's kind of the babysitter. He's the babysitter. Yeah. Hey he's guys. very good. Hi, how are your eyes? Yeah, yeah, looking he's good. good. He's looking good. good. Looking rotund. Yeah. Maybe soon. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go meet Woodrow. Okay, we'll go meet the Ram. Here's Woodrow. Yeah. Mr. Ram. That is our Ram. And his buddy Icy. <laughs> One of the weathers. Yeah, so Woodrow is kind of a mutt. He's got some blue faced luster in him. He's got some Romney in him. He's got some Rambouillet in him. He should have a really, really nice fleece. Um, that sure is. Why in the world is there an egg over there? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, the other thing I want to mention is you may have noticed our sketchy boys have coats on them. And no, that is not to keep them warm. That is to keep their fleeces clean. They, especially because of the type of fleece they have, they tend to collect pieces of hay and little seeds and all sorts of everything in their fleeces. And then it's a total pain to get out. The border lessers are not quite as bad, so usually I don't coat them, but... Uh, I'm gonna talk about the difference between the primitive breed coat and the regular, or the not primitive. Yeah, so the uh, Shetlands have what's called a, they're what's called a down breed. And if you look at their fleece, if they have something of an undercoat um, as opposed to having just locks if you can you can kind of see the border lusters it's These just beautiful locks yeah in fact border luster locks were the original what was used for like doll hair and things like that because of the ringlets uh, but yeah the the Shetlands have a different type of fleece and it tends if it gets hay or something in it it just stays there it doesn't come out it just gets trapped um, so, so yeah, and you may have seen Icy in with our Ram Woodrow. He is part Icelandic. Yeah, that's why we call him Icy. Yeah. Because he's a, uh, what, a quarter Icelandic and three yeah. quarters uh, uh, Shetland. Shetland. Yeah. 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 Versus the other two sketchy boys are just pure Shetlands. Yeah. Yeah. So. Icy's my favorite. He has horns, and actually all the Shetlands have horns, but yeah. he's a... Uh, He'll come after you. Icy is just about taking my knees out a few times. Somehow and, that makes him like it more. Well, yeah, <laughs> I don't understand this. But he's just he's a very spirited <laughs> spirited sheep. Maybe it's a male it's a male yeah. thing. He one time even headbutted our dog Niblet while Niblet was trying to hurt him. <laughs> Niblet cornered him and he just drilled Niblet and almost knocked Niblet unconscious, which was amazing. But I've never seen a sheep do that, but he did. And I still caught him. And he tried to hit me, but I dodged and grabbed his horns. So, yeah, but anyway. he's cool. He's a cool sheep. <laughs> he does have a nice fleece. So. Yeah, and really neat looking eyes. Yeah. So yeah, our three mama sheep, Barbara, Babs, and Babe, should be delivering lambs yeah. here in about a month or less. So, so yeah, we'll keep you guys posted, and we'll have, and when we have lambs, we'll let you know. Yeah. We'll do a lamb video. Yeah, so if you haven't already, be sure to like and subscribe down below, and we'll see you soon.